And tonight, we're getting a rare opportunity to hear what some of our kids think of these senseless shootings. Our Melissa Correa was invited into a therapy circle for a group of eighth graders. From their own low points to wishing someone had reached out to the Parkland shooter, some HISD students are talking through the pain. This is the conversation that happened at Gregory Lincoln. A heavily armed young man barged into his former high school about an hour northwest of Miami on Wednesday, opening fire on terrified students and teachers. I think that losing his mother was already tough for him. I feel like he didn't know how to take it. So he turned all his sadness into anger and just let it out on everyone else. His, his stuff is just like me. I lost my mom and now I'm in a CPS case. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Do you think there were signs that this was about to happen. Someone could at least ask them, are you okay? I know from experience that you do need to open up. And what could have prevented this problem is him opening up. Saying a simple prayer for them would have helped because like my grandma always tells me, the Lord always listens to your problem. What can we do when we know that others are hurting? Talk to them about their day and see how they're going. Because I was a victim of suicide thoughts and somebody talked to me. We need to watch the things we say and post on social media about people. We need to stop judging people and look at the brighter side of the situation. I think that people could have taught him hurt himself or hurt others wouldn't solve his problem. I think that what he needed was love. What can we do to protect ourselves? If you're going through this, don't stand alone. Say I love you more. Continue to be nice to people. No matter how low you think you are, there's always going to be that one person that's always going to believe in you. So HISD started these community circle talks this year, initially so students could talk about the stress after Harvey. But as you can see, it has morphed into a safe space. And guys, after the cameras stopped rolling, the group then comforted and cried with each other, talking a little bit more about the pain and the things they learned during that intimate conversation. Guys. That is so incredible. And you know, in all honesty, middle school is an awkward time in any kid's yes. life. But the fact that they're so honest with each other and open with each other, mm -hmm. they're more mature than we give them credit for. Say, I love you more. Yeah, is really that something? Yeah, powerful. Mm -hmm.